Holy fuck, what the fuck was that? Right. Scared the crap out of me. Hey there, Pipers. Still drinking. Coming at you today with a quick talk story time. Shooting the shit. Checking in. Seeing all y'all are doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing well. A little housekeeping. Smoking uh, Drew Estate Dirty Rat. I got uh, extremely lucky. Our local B&M had gotten some of these in. And usually, uh, when I talk to my tobacconist, they tell me that uh, the only way you can really get it here is at uh, Drew Estate events that they have occasionally. So uh, I was pleasantly surprised when they had posted on their Instagram that they had some in and uh, that at the time they didn't have any limit for a day or two. And I definitely wanted to try these. I constantly miss those events. So I wanted to go down and get some and try some. And I must say, very good smokes. I got some uh, flying feral pig as well as some dirty ratas. And I'd say they're very good smokes. Very delicious. I'll start with that. But are they worth the price? It's kind of like Penzance and Stonehaven, you know? They're, they're kind of in that category. They're hard to fucking get, or at least for me they are. Uh, they're on the pricier side. And uh, I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze, you know? They are delicious, but with just so many cigars out there on the market, they're easier to get and just as tasty. You know, it's kind of up to you whether it's worth all the hassle. So hopefully, with the new rig I have set up here, you guys can still hear me and I'm not recording this for fucking nothing. Now, oh, and this sun, this sun's just gonna be fucking washing me out. All right, so this holiday season, I got, uh, I'm a big electronics fan. So if people always ask kind of what I like, what I'm looking for, blah, 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 I always just tell them, if anything, get me an Amazon or a Best Buy gift card. Can't go wrong with that. So I was, uh, lucky enough to get some this Christmas and I ended up getting some new gear one being the camera that I'm recording on totally different it's an actual camcorder and not a you know a still photo camera that's set to record so hopefully I want to see this camera has stabilization which I've always wanted because walking around with a fucking camera and it's shaking all over the place just drives me fucking bonkers so if it bugs me I'm pretty sure it bugs some of you so hopefully it ups the production quality. It's also better for taking like family videos, which you know I'm mainly gonna use it for, as well as making these videos. Hopefully I get more into it, making pipe videos that is. Uh, another thing I ended up getting was uh, this little mic, which you probably heard me bump. Uh, I think it was, it's a Sony omnidirectional mic or some shit like that. I don't know. I think it was $19.99 for the little mic. And I'm like, shit, I mean, it's how many times I'm recording in high fucking wind and like that shit just pisses me off. I got fucking airplanes and helicopters flying overhead every fucking five seconds. So this is supposed to cut down on all of that bullshit. And uh, we're going to see. This is the first time I've ever used it. And I'm going to match it up with the uh, video audio and see if there's a fucking difference or if I just wasted 20 bucks. Oh. So, Anyway, now that that bull sticks all out of the way, let's get on uh, to the meat and potatoes, as it were. I've been getting more and more into cigars just because they're a little bit easier to deal with than pipes in my current situation. I still love my pipes and pipe tobacco, but cigars have just been a little bit, uh, a little bit easier for me to handle currently. This one tobacconist that I purchased from helps me kind of pick them out. All I know is that I don't like Connecticut and I love Maduro's, but I still enjoy, you know, uh, Dominican and Nicaraguan cigars. But my favorites are Maduro's and my most hated is anything Connecticut. I don't know why, I just don't like the taste. I like my cigars to be a little bit more meaty, a little bit more beefy, if that makes any sense. So, what I can say is, uh, I guess I, get, I can give a couple of cigars I do enjoy on the regular. Uh, I usually get my cigars from Cigar International and uh, they just had a sale on this La Aurora e Leon double Maduros. Now it's a bigger size than I like. I usually go Robusto, but uh, still very enjoyable. Now I had ended up getting those uh, La Aurora sticks for about two bucks a stick, I think it was, but it was a special. I don't know what they're normally at. What I normally end up getting is uh, La Perla. And I think it's only at Cigar International. I don't think I found it anywhere else. So one of my everyday smokes, really cheap sticks, really tasty for me, is the Black Pearl by La Perla. Now this is the actual ivory. These are, I think, even a little bit cheaper than the Black Band ones I get. The ones I normally get, I think they're just called Black Pearl, but this is Black Pearl Ivory. Tasty, 
delicious little everyday smokes, a couple of bucks, can't go wrong. Now another one that was uh, on sale at the time when I got the La Aurora was this uh, Bahia. I don't know if I'm saying it right. B-A-H-I-A, -A, Maduro. Uh, also just a couple of bucks a stick. I ended up getting me a box. Nice dark wrapper, my faves. So those are kind of my, oh shit. The La Perla is my everyday smoke and the other two I just kind of lucked out on. I don't know what their normal price point is, but definitely very tasty cigars. You want to check them out? So I guess that would be my top three, I don't know. The Drew Estate, Drew Estate makes excellent cigars, but they're so expensive, so expensive. I also um, had the pleasure of uh, trying a, I think it was Arturo Fuentes, the Opus X. Now they had a sampler pack. I don't know if it's like the cheap stuff or what it was, but I think it was uh, $30 for like 10 sticks or something like that. It was, it was, but I figured a good deal. It wasn't too expensive had Opus X on it, it had the symbols, the bands, and all of that shit. Again, it was a special by Cigars International, and uh, I jumped on it just to try and taste it, see what the, oh fuck, see what all the hype was about. And again, it's a decent stick, but you know, not, not worth it. I think the Polish Piper had posted a picture of uh, one of those Opus Xs, and I think he said it was $20 or something for a fucking stick. I was like, holy shit, his was free. He was, it was gift. It was gifted to him, so I mean, definitely smoke the shit out of it if, if it's a gift. But I don't think I would ever, I would ever pay full price for a cigar like that. On a side note, as we're talking about cigars, I started buying a torch lighter. Before the longest time, I had used Soft Flame, just a regular Bic lighter, and holy shit, the lightest fucking breeze just blows that shit out, so it is uh, impossible to get your cigar lit. Uh, so, you know, I'd spend about 10, 15 minutes just to get the fucker lit. Yeah, so I, I ended up getting me a torch lighter, and... Uh, the first one I got was from Cigars Internationals. You know, when you buy one thing, they give you a fucking lighter. So it's a single little cheapy little lighter. Still going strong, still working great, right? But I figured, okay, let me get a real deal, good fucking lighter. I wanted a big tank to help me uh, not have to worry about carrying fluid around all the damn time. So I ended up buying a, I think it was a $70 Zycar. It's like a cylinder. Uh, maybe about the size of a Robusto cigar. Big old meaty fucking lighter. Dual flame, right? Beautiful gunmetal. Now I get this fucking thing, and this is gonna be a bit of a rant. I get it, the guy fills it up, works great. You know, when I empty it, I make sure to completely drain it. Turn the dial all the way down to fucking, you know, to, the, to its lowest setting. Follow all the instructions, drain it out completely, and fill it up. And then I go to try to use it again. It sparks, gas comes out. So there's fuel, there's air, and then there's fire. There's, just, there's a spark. And that motherfucker just won't stay lit. And that had happened to me with another cheapy lighter that I had gotten. I think it was gifted to me in uh, Chicago. It worked for a little while and then it did the exact same thing. You hear the gas, you see the spark. I mean, I'll put another flame to it and you see that it'll catch, but it'll blow itself out. No matter how fucking low I put it, if I put it too low, you know, it'll light and then go out. If I turn it up a click, it'll light and then just blow itself out. So I gotta take the fucker back. The, the good thing about Zycar, it's like, no questions asked, you go and return it. Uh, the shitty part is, is the bagel shop I got it from is all the way in town and I hardly fucking go out there. It just sucks doing so. But it pisses me off that my higher end lighter doesn't fucking work and this one I got this cheapy little shit has been going strong for a while now so I mean if anybody got any tips anybody knows what the fuck would cause that I'm using Zycar fuel you know I'm not using the cheap shit bought the fuel got their lighter and after one use it just doesn't fucking work I don't know if anybody got any tips tricks knows what the fuck's I'm what the fuck I'm doing wrong let me know I'd appreciate it I really would because uh I don't want to have to drive to fucking town every other week because I can only fill that fucker up once and then it just not work. So anyway, Pipe Smokers, that's it for this video. Hope you guys are doing well, staying warm. You guys take it easy. And remember, stay smoking, my friends.